COVID-19 has been engulfed all over the world from the last seven to eight months. From the experience of last seven to eight months, we have seen that 85% of our COVID patients are having very mild symptoms or no symptoms and they have been treated well at home. 15% of patients are found to be sick who are requiring hospital admissions. Out of that, 5% are very sick who are requiring intensive care treatment. So it is also found that the patients who are elderly, more than 60 years, and having diseases like diabetes, overweight, obesity, hypertension, heart diseases, kidney diseases and cancer are more prone for complications of COVID and these are the patients who are getting frequently admitted to ICU. Even the death rate among these patients are high in the ICU. So we have to protect our diabetic population. All the elderly and diabetic patients must be strictly advised not to go out of their house they have to take complete care in the house like maintain safe distancing, wearing masks and washing their hands frequently. Even if their friends or relatives want, they have to be avoided to meet them directly in the houses. In case these diabetic people develop fever, cold, cough or breathing difficulties, they must immediately be taken to the hospital. A thorough examination and investigations to be done to rule out this disease. In case our diabetic patients become positive for COVID, they must be immediately admitted to the hospital and given all the support and care and necessary management treatment so that you can prevent the complications and avoid them to go to the ICUs. The early treatment helps in preventing complications and reverting back the disease. In diabetics, especially the high blood sugars are the main reason for infections. And this is the reason why COVID spreads fast, gets into all the organs of the body and causes serious complications. So it is very important for our diabetic patients to check their blood sugars regularly. And if the blood sugars are high, immediately contact their treating physician, adjust the doses of the drugs and sometimes insulin is also required to bring down the sugars fast. So we have to see that sugars are controlled soon. Also, you all know that there is a second wave of COVID seen in different countries of Europe and United States of America. So we must all very, be very careful, especially in the seasons of Diwali and Christmas to see that the second wave doesn't come to our country. Finally, on the World Diabetes Day, I would like to say we Indians are highly prone to because of genetic predisposition to get diabetes. So if we all change our uh, lifestyle, eat healthy food, do regular exercises, cut down our weight, we can prevent or at least postpone the onset of this disease. If we check blood sugars regularly and keep our blood sugars under control, then we can prevent the complications and all of us can lead a long and healthy life. Thank you.